Hello chess fans, this is Rick from Chess to Impress with the Grandmaster of Disasters Immortal Blitz game. What is this all about? In the first issue of 2017 of the magazine New in Chess, Grandmaster Julian Hodgson from England writes Chess is art with truth. Recently I was lucky enough to play a 5 minute game on the Internet Chess Club which gave me immense pleasure. I just hope the final position can have a similar effect on you. This is what Wikipedia writes about Grandmaster Julian Hodgson. Hodgson developed a sharp, relentless attacking style of play and against lesser opponents this frequently resulted in devastating quick wins, earning him the title Grandmaster of Disaster. So let's have a look at this immortal blitz game from the Grandmaster of Disaster, Julian Hodgson. Hodgson was white in this game, his ICC handle is Attack GM, and we'll see in a minute why. And his opponent is the Argentinian international master Gustavo Maia. Black's handle is Immortal, and as Hodgson writes, after the game had finished, there was something about his handle I quite liked. Hodgson played d4, f5 by Maia, the Dutch defense. Bishop g5 and Hodgson writes, what else? He has played this move all his life. c5, d takes c5, knight a6, attacking the c5 pawn. And here Hodgson pushed e4 and he says a pawn sack for speedy development. Black took that pawn, knight c3, Maya took on c5. Bishop c4, queen b6, and knight d5 hitting the queen. Queen went to c6, and now bishop b5 hitting the queen. And you cannot take that bishop, queen takes b5 would be a blunder because of knight c7 check, forking king and queen. King d8, knight takes b5, wins the queen. So Maya went to g6 with the queen and knight h3, protecting the bishop on g5. Here Maya played knight e6, which looks a good move. It guards the c7 square, so there's no knight c7 for king, king and rook in this position. And it's also attacking the bishop on g5 again. That bishop is now attacked twice. Here Hodgson could have played queen d2, or queen g4 to defend the bishop on g5 one more time. But he played the beautiful move and also the strongest move in this position, knight h f4. And he says, I had now seen the possibility of the final position looming and was getting very excited. The queen is hanging, so black took the bishop with the queen and white took on e6. And that piece cannot be taken back because the d7 pawn is pinned to the bishop on b5. Maya took on g2. Looks a good move. It attacks the rook with check. But now there is already a forced checkmate in the position. Quite amazing. Knight dc7 check. King f7. Queen h5 check. And now black only has three legal moves. Let's look at king f6. Then there is a checkmate with knight e8 check. King takes e6. Bishop c4 check. d5 only move. And queen takes d5 checkmate. Very nice. But there is even a nicer checkmate. And it is after queen h5 check and then queen g6. Then there is knight d8 check, king f6, and knight d5 checkmate. A beautiful picture. But we save the best for last, and that is what was played in the game. Gustavo Maria played g6 to shield the check, and Hodgson played knight d8 check, king g7, and knight e8 checkmate. 
and he writes, checkmate, the joy of chess. What an incredible checkmate pattern. In 15 moves, the two white knights have taken the squares of black's king and queen, checkmating the black king. And while that was happening, white's queen is hanging, white's rook is hanging with check. What a beautiful picture, and I think we're not exaggerating if we can indeed call this an immortal blitz game from the Grandmaster of Disaster. At the end, Julian Hodgson, who played this wonderful game, gives us all a good piece of advice. He says, the best advice I've ever been given before playing a game of chess was from my wife. Play for the love of the game. And we should all do that. We should not worry about all these silly rating points, but just play for the love of the game. And maybe one day we will play a game like Julian Hodgson did in this five minute blitz game on the Internet Chess Club. Hope you enjoyed this wonderful blitz game. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the Chess to Impress channel and please leave your comments. You also may want to check out my Chess to Progress channel. The link is in the description box. One of the things I do there is analyze games that viewers send me by email. This is Rick from Chess to Impress. Thank you very much for watching.